All right, second half just started. Any move in the ball. Reminder, we're watching the Finney Falcons take on the Genesee Valley Jaguars, the number one seed here in sectionals. Class D1. Jaguars, number eight seed, made it through the first round. And Finney's lucky there because if that ball had been just a little bit to the left, it would have been a goal. So coming into the second half, Finney leads the Jaguars 2-1. Corner kick coming up for the Jaguars here on the near side. Nice ball. Overshoots the goal. And Daniel Siderishan is able to clear it out of there. And he has Oker streaming down there. Not able to get there fast enough. Bingo now looking to set something up, gets it outside. I think if Lau would run after that, he could have gotten there. But goes out of bounds. It's going to be Genesee Valley throwing it in deep in their own territory. Throw it down the sideline and send it. out here. Spectators for Genesee Valley are not happy with the way the game is being called or not called, as the case may be. I well, didn't, didn't, I didn't see what the. It, it goes back and forth. I think for the most part they've been pretty fair with the calls today. it across nice effort and the shot and a goal scored by, goal scored by Ian number Lau. eight Ian Lau so 36 minutes to go in the second half Finney goes away with a 3-1 lead over Tennessee Valley And all the way to Fokers. Look at that. Hunt heads towards the sideline, not a bound. So. Genesee Valley ball coming in. Jaguars get the ball out, but Fokers is there. Quick short punt to this near side to Ian Lau. Couple of collisions there, but nothing illegal and out of bounds. So no. All right, to Rubingo, he's carrying it down the sideline, now crossing. Oh. 
Are you laughing at the commentary from below? Yeah. Okay, Jaguars ball coming in, and it stays theirs. Benji Martin with the ball retrieval on the far side. Now Finney ball. Right down the sideline. Connor's there. And out the back line to a goal kick. Uh, stalling is a strategy, especially if you have the lead and you're trying to run out the clock. Here's the kick. Comes this way. Stays in bounds. The sun has decided to make an appearance. Somebody turn on the lights. And Jake Terrell clears it out the sideline. So we've got a throw coming in here on the near side by number 24. Cannons for arms goes down there to send it in. High and right to the middle, right in front of the net. And that kick is blocked. Somehow Daniel Siderishan emerges with the ball and gets it down the field. Genesee Valley returns, brings it right up midfield. Nice pass. In good position, Fokerts goes for it and secures it. Far sideline. Passes it into the middle. No green shirts nearby to pick it up. At least none that were willing to. Ball goes out. It is. Yes. It's got a nice clear picture. Even when he's in. We got somebody bleeding. Stopping the clock. Oh. Who is bleeding? Stephen Fokert's bleeding. Is maybe a nose bleed? Ooh. Yeah, the one guy down there is like, no, no. All right. Ooh. So. All right. We are back in. And in goal now, Keegan Oker. While they tend to Stephen Folkerts. Did you say Tyler Brown is in also? Tyler Brown. Tyler Brown's in. Keegan, Keegan's in. But Tyler's over there in the pink jersey. No? Yes? I just Pretty sure. They, well, they, well, normally Tyler's the backup goalie, so that would normally have been like the, the sub, but I think sexual. it's sexual. So. <laughs> Oh, yeah. um, Oker with the save and the punt. Looks like maybe Johnny is in. That was an Yeah. Oh, nice. Lau working across. Gets a shot. Oh, oh. Too high. Too high. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, number four is the guy who's in as the sub on the field. I think that's Gianni. Okay, so goal kick coming up for the Jaguars. Low line drive. Jaguars tripping over wow. themselves. <laughs> this one enthusiastic parent. Let me first save. Loud gets a shot. Oh. It was slow enough for the goalie to be able to oh, lock it. High punt, long punt, all the way down to Jake Rowell, who returns it. Oh, Matt. Matt Magliano. That's that's who it is. All right. Well, you know, it's just on videotape. Oh. Oh, oh, man. Well, he was lucky to have some defenders nearby there. Sideration getting in the way there. And we've got substitutions coming in for Genesee Valley. Jaguars getting some fresh legs on the field. There's 28 45 to go in the second half. Falcons leading. Falcons leading by a score of three to one. Benji Martin jogging around the track. I think he went to retrieve some paper towels, it looks like. And that collision called intentional. Also, is Dylan Miss over there? He is. Dylan is over. He's done some like assistant coaching stuff this season. Yeah. He hasn't been in every game, but he has been present to several games. Nice, nice shot. Good save. Britta Cone trying to turn it back upfield. Jesse Valley gets a foot on it. All right. Lau makes a move. Sends nice. it. Who's ready? And it goes all the way to the goalie. Sweeper fell down in the process of trying to stop the ball. High punt, far sideline, stays in bounds. All right, big number 24 here to send it in. Everybody knowingly moves to the middle of the field. High ball, crosses the middle of the field, and Oka grabs it, looks to just hurl it, no, punts it. As Emmanuel, Emmanuel now carrying the ball, slips, oh, nice. and still gets a shot, which ends up going wide. And since that was touched by, no, they're not saying that he touched it before it went out of bounds. Looked like it might have been touched by the goalie in the way it process is going out, which would be. No, and Stephen Phillips returns to the game. Deegan Oka moving in. Matt Magliato coming off. So back to the starting lineup for the Falcons. Jake Terrell goes to the ground and gets back up, still gets the ball. Terrell will not be denied. And Rabingu chasing it down, takes a shot, bounces off the goalie. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, our guy ran in there. But. Yeah, but he didn't trip him. Calm down. It was your dude. Use your eyes. Good he doesn't have the same perspective you have. Remember, yeah, he's down at the ground, and he's further away. It was also clear as day. From up here. From all of the places. Because <laughs> you're in all the places. I am. <laughs> not saying I'm Jesus. I'm not even going to finish that because I'm not trying to say anything like that. You sure? You don't, you're not going for omnipresence? I just know everything. Oh, okay. Omniscience. Yeah. Ah. Jaguar's trying to get the quick throw in, but no. Finny ball. Rabingu, no one in front of him. And enough pressure that the shot was not to happen. Rabingu thinking that it's supposed to be a corner kick, but referees did not see it from that angle. So. That was the goal kick. Yes. Emmanuel's second goal. Uh, yeah. Thank you to the save. Sides, maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure what the call is. Maybe out of bounds. Maybe he's saying it was out of bounds. Shouldn't have been called. That's off number 24. Not easy to do. No. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. And you're stopping the clock for an injury. Who is injured? Ian went down. He's being helped off over there. Two two zero eight is where they want the clock reset to. Two two. There we go. All right, so White throw the ball here on the other sideline. There's the whistle. Keegan Unker's first two. Oh, 
Jake Terrell comes up. Uh, yes, you did tell me. <laughs> no doubt about that. He told me. We don't know whether he was tricked or not, but he did tell me. We don't know what's coming. Looks like a handball from here, but maybe it was mistaken. Bingo crosses it. So Rishan tries a shot now. Goes down and making it. Everybody's going down. The call here is corner kick. Nice placement for it. Ball still alive. And then uh, Finney's not able to keep it in bounds. It hit a Civic, then a Mazda 3, in case you were wondering. Goal kick coming up for the Falcons. Direct kick. Yeah. Out of bounds, Jaguars ball coming in on the far side. Still Finney ball. Connor works it across the middle. Wow. Lots of drama down inside the box. It's Finney ball coming in on the far sideline. Oker goes out to send it in. a whistle about something must have been offsides. It's going to be Jaguars ball coming in the far sideline. Quite the throw. It's all the way down to focus.
Aguilado chases it down. Lau's shot wide left. Substitutions over for the Falcons. Substitutions for the Jaguars. That hurt. Get a player down. Stopping the clock. So we are stopped with 14.05 to go in the second half. Had just come in Aww. and what his happened? leg kind of like got swept Oof. and he just went down and was grabbing his leg somebody grabbed his leg he was I mean, he just went down like holding oh. his leg so All right, so they got him off the field. They're going to take the long way around. And we've got a corner kick coming up. Ball goes right in front of the goal, continues towards this side. Genesee Valley tries to clear it, gets it up the sideline. Josh got a foot on it, and it goes out of bounds. <laughs> and 
Here's the throw. Near collisions there. Yeah. They weren't even trying to be rough, it just is the way they were colliding. <laughs> All right, Jesse Valley is getting it down the field, keeps it in bounds, gets past Terrell. Oh, Terrell catches up. It's very rare that somebody gets past Jake Terrell. Yeah. He was also on his feet was getting ahead of this one. Quite the throw, man. Oh, nice. Substitutions happening. All right. The Sideration brothers are back in the game. There they are. <laughs> there, they are. Um, there they go. Josh Taylor remains in the game. He's got the stamina of a camel, though. Who? <laughs> Oh, well, he hasn't been in the game long, so. Oh, yeah, I wasn't sure, but he does. Have you ever seen him play basketball? Yeah, he just keeps going. Just keeps going. All right, so this is Genesee Volleyball coming in. Saying it crossed out of bounds, I think, when they were sending up the line. Min Lau works towards the sideline. Sends it down towards Keegan. And it gets returned back to Lau, who's still fighting for it. Wow. All right. Those players were all over each other. Meanwhile, the guys at midfield are all joking back and forth between teams as a corner kick gets set up. <laughs> Keegan Oker with a kick, a low bouncing kick, sends back to the sideline. Oker's there, tries to send it again. Because there are bad calls, but that was not a bad call. I saw it. I see, I'm up here. This is fun. I should do it. No one can hear me. Except that. But I don't care. You know I know who I am. Look at him now. Look at him go. They stopped the clock for ball retrieval. They never do that. <laughs> I have never seen that happen. Well, strange things are happening in this game. Come on. <laughs> they both touched it. Really. Yeah, but who touched it last is the question. Yeah. 
The actual question is, what did the official call? Because that's what's going to happen. <laughs> well, yeah, the official. No, the official in the middle. He called the. He called the direction. <laughs> Josh Taylor with the throw. <laughs> Getting some coaching from the captain. And Fokerts grabs it. Punts it. High punt towards the far sideline and out of bounds. So it'll be Jaguars ball coming in near the Finney bench. To Terrell. Keegan sends it up the field. Lau is there. One to beat. Now, now two to beat. Now three to beat. Nice. And nice gets forward. around them. And sends. Oh. Shot goes wide right. Substitution. Josh Taylor coming off. Tiny boy coming in. <laughs> Tiny. Who is that? Oh, never mind. I know who that is. Sorry. <laughs> They're all so small. Oh, you're three stories up in the air. Everyone's small. Oh, yeah, but it, Corner kick. Whoa. Oh. Ian Lau takes himself to the ground. Nice, Manuel. Rabingu nice, gets it. Oh. oh, that was a push. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> that was a push. Calm down. See, look at that. The, this ref is laughing at them. Look at him laugh. I should be watching the game. <laughs> look at that. Yeah, a little too much on that one. It's okay. Look at how horrible that ended up for them. <laughs> Jesse Valley with a kick. Sends it to this sideline. Keeps it in bounds. Sends it deep. Fokerts grabs it. It's up in the top. High top. punt. It's down. It's back. It's over. It's back again. The game is okay. pinball. We got soccer. Human pinball. And Terrell sends it up the field. James Sidorishan is there to keep the ball in play. And Jaguars get it down the field. Erta Cohn with a save on the sideline. And then it goes out off of uh, Keegan Oker. So in the Genesee Valley ball and they're making some substitutions. Also, About five is, minutes left in the game. If you criticize other adults, that's fine. When you start to come at the players, you're an adult. He's an adult. He is aged far beyond the children on the field. And he's attacking the players. I think you need to reevaluate your life, good sir. I don't know if this has audio. It does. Oh. <laughs> 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 Not only does that have audio, this has audio. Well, I don't care about that one. This is a home video right here. Yes. Who's there? This one is going to YouTube for the world to That's hear. Fine. I don't think this guy down here is ever going to. Nice. That was a nice name. Back of the neck. So, um, do I look like I have any food? Nice. Don't spend it all in one place. Oh, you're welcome. 
Oh, Rabingu gets a shot. Oh, oh. Bounces off the goalie and out. They're saying it's a goal kick. Okay. The ref in the middle of the field was sure it was supposed to be a corner, but the ref on the far sideline was insistent that the goal kick was the correct call. That's okay. Looks like we're just going to carry it forward anyway. All right. Nice. And counter. Connor with the goal. goal scored by number 11, Connor Terrell. With 3.11 to go in the game, Connor Terrell gets his first goal of the game. Takes the score to 4-1, to Finney over Genesee Valley. I'm sure they're going to enjoy reviewing your footage. <laughs> No, I, I'm sure you're doing better than I was. The it's airplane awesome. sound effects were <laughs> a new addition. It's, it's, it's flair. It is. It's flair. <laughs> Finny Ball coming in here on the near sideline. took them too long to determine who was going to throw the ball in and he didn't like that nice move by Genesee Valley there minutes left, boys. I think they can all see the clock it's kind of big <laughs> all right goal kick coming up now there you go should just make it. Goal kick from the middle of the box. Substitutions. No, it was for the Genesee Valley. Oh, I didn't notice the guy with the beard. Number 18, Genesee Valley. The guy with the chin beard? Yeah. The camera was pointed in that direction, but I was not looking. Ball went out. They thought they'd kept it in, but it went out. Oh, nice job. That's a great See, because we're supporting. Oh, oh hey. that's a well too high. Ball is all the way over there. And one final sub for Genesee Valley. As time is expires here. Now we've got a sub for the Falcons too. Okay. Good deep send. Keeper gets it. Punts it. Short punt. Final score, Finney Falcons 4, Genesee Valley Jaguars 1. 